I'm so grateful to be with you today. Thank you so much for coming to join me on this adventure. Today's story is about the man with the skin disease, and the picture you see now is the final picture that we will create today. very differently and I learned by doing art so I'm gonna show you all that and I will start by sketching out the arms on my canvas here but if you don't want to do that um, there is a link and you can click on that and go ahead and just print out the sketch and skip to the painting part so let's get started um, we are gonna start by drawing Jesus's arm and so we're gonna start over here towards the corner of the canvas and draw kind of a curved line down towards the center because Jesus is reaching down to help um, the man with the skin disease. Um, so if you look at your forearm, it is larger at top and it gets skinnier towards your wrist. So we're gonna do that on the bottom as well. So Jesus' arm looks very proportionate. Um, so now we're going to do that on the other side for the other man's arm. And we're going to draw it towards more of a downward angle because the man is on the ground and he is reaching out towards Jesus because Jesus wants to be with us and he reaches out to you. So we're just going to make sure we get that. Now my favorite part of about sketching first is that you can erase your sketch lines. So you don't have to worry too much right now about how it is going to look. And also the best part about paint is it can cover up the lines that you make so you don't have to erase them before you paint. So I am now going to draw Jesus' hand um reaching the man's arm and so i'm gonna draw his thumb curling around like so and his hand is gonna come out a little more like that and we're gonna angle it a little bit so it's gonna come down more like that so now i'm gonna draw the fingers and we're gonna come down with the first finger a little bit more and curve that up and then we're going to do some more angles and feel free to just pause the video if you need to or skip ahead and pause so you can see the picture and just copy from that. Um, there's no pressure to go fast or anything. It is all your pace because you're the one learning. Um, I'm going to come back up here to Jesus' thumb and I'm going to sketch part of his hand onto it because thumb is not just a straight line. There's lots of curves and bumps in your own hand and I imagine there were in Jesus's as well. So I think I made the arm a little too wide so I'm just going to shrink that a little bit and bring up Jesus's fingers to meet that. And I'm just gonna go ahead and erase this line right here. Just like that. Now you don't want many pencil shapings on your canvas because it can affect the way that you sketch. And you don't have to have a canvas, um, just a piece of paper or a piece of cardboard can work just as well. It's great either way you want to do it. So now I'm going to take the pencil and I'm going to draw the man with the skin disease's hand. So we're going to do a little mini bump and then another bump right there. We're just going to pull Jesus' arm out a little bit like so. Now, sometimes your joints can be a little bit pointy, so we don't want it to be too pointy, but you can't have it be just a straight line because then it doesn't look like a hand. So I'm going to draw the man with the skin disease's thumb reaching out and 
holding on to Jesus. Um, so you want to make the top part of his thumb a little bit flatter so that you can have the right angle on that. And you can see on my canvas that sometimes when I wipe the lead, it comes off a little bit onto my other parts of the canvas and that doesn't matter because we're gonna put paint over it so you won't be able to see it so you shouldn't have to worry too much about that. So now he has his thumb and I'm just gonna give him a little fingernail to go on that thumb, just like so. Now we're gonna add his other fingers and he is grabbing Jesus' arm. So his fingers are gonna curl around Jesus' arm. So like so. And they're gonna be in an angle. So we're gonna draw it like that. Um, man, I'm running out of words to say, I don't know. So as we draw the fingers, you have to remember that when you look at your own hand, you can see that your fingers are each different sizes and these men's were too, and it's okay if they don't look the way you think they should look, they'll be perfect. Every painting is so unique, and that's, honestly, that's the best part, because each person gets to make their own piece of art, and that is truly the best part. So this last finger that I'm drawing right here is curved outward a little bit more because it's his middle finger and it's a little bit longer so we are going to take it and we're going to draw a flat line and then we are going to angle it up right here and now I'm going to take that line again and I'm going to do a slight angle out so on some of these I will draw little lines just to remind myself where the shadowing is going to be later and shadowing is not a big deal it's just a little bit of a darker paint to give the picture a little bit more depth. Um, now I'm going to add the pinky finger and the pinky finger is a little bit farther out because it just quite can't, can't quite reach him so just going to draw a little oval, little baby oval and then a flat line, and then we're going to curve it so it curves around to grab Jesus' arm. Now if you look at the back of your hand, you can see there are little lines where your knuckles are, and we want to make sure that this man has his knuckle lines as well, and his fingernails. So we're going to add our knuckle lines and fingernails, and we're going to reach up, and the fingernails are a little bit curved at the top to make sure they're not completely flat. And this is a man's hand, and so man's nails tend to be shorter, so they stay on the finger versus coming off if you were drawing a woman's hand. Now we're gonna add our knuckle lines to this ring finger right here. And I forgot to erase these lines right here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. And again, y'all don't have to follow along exactly. You can take your own variations of the colors, and if you're coloring with color pencils, feel free to do any colors you want. All of the coloring is entirely up to you as an artist. So, one thing that happened back in Jesus' time is when you had a skin disease, you had to wrap yourself in a lot of bandages. And so since this man, except for the top of your fingers, and this man's hand, you can kind of see where the bandages would stop. And we are going to just add some lines for bandages later just to remind ourselves. Um, so I'm just gonna add this last fingernail before we finish up this man's arm because he is going to have to have some bandages. So now we have all five fingers and I'm going to add the knuckle lines here 
and the bandages to the thumb. So we're going to draw the bandage lines. And the bandages, again, are a little bit rounded. So they're not entirely straight lines. They're rounded just a little bit. And I'm just sketching out his arm a little bit better to get more of a body shape. So when you are poor, you can't afford entire rolls of bandages and some, sometimes you have to make do with the best you can and sometimes little spots of your skin is going to show. So we are going to draw the bandage lines. I'm going to erase this. We're going to draw the bandage lines as rounded and you're going to round them. Whichever way you want, it doesn't really matter, but if you notice, you will not be um, bandaging the entire arm. And I'm going to draw squiggles over where his skin will show to remind myself that there's not a bandage there when I start painting. And so bandages are going to be all different sizes. It's not going to be completely uniform or any of that fun stuff. Um, and one thing that would happen is when the bandages got worn down, they would kind of like come off or maybe start peeling a little bit. So this one, I'm going to take it down a little bit and draw a light line. This is not a heavy dark line because bandages are not very like solid at the end so when we take it we'll paint down a straight line um, so I have that here and I'm going to erase this part of his arm because the bandage does not stop right there and we're just gonna keep drawing the bandages all the way up his arm because this man was very 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 sick and there's a little bit of skin right there And you can go all the way to the corner of your page or your canvas. And just like that. So Jesus was not a rich man, but he was not poor. And he had a robe that he wore. And I don't know which color Jesus was wearing that day, but I'm going to draw a robe. And how I do that is I take this line and I draw it right across and then I curve it on this side and I curve it on this side to make it look like it's going around his arm and then at the corners I'm going to draw curved lines up so that shows that his robe is on his arm. Now I'm going to draw little squiggles to remind myself where I want little um, pieces of paint later on to just give it a little bit more depth and so we're gonna do that and you can add them wherever there's no specific spot that you have to do um, I'm gonna add some more shadowing right here by his thumb so we make sure we remember that so if you want to you can add a little bit of shadowing by the tips of the fingers because when you hold something, there's a shadow, even if you don't realize it. So you want to make sure that you portray that. So I think we're all done with the sketching. And so we're going to get to painting. This is one of my favorite parts. I'm going to start with painting Jesus' skin color. And Jesus was Jewish. And I imagine Jesus as being like a darker skin color. Um, and so this is my Jesus skin color and I mixed a dark brown with a light brown and a little bit of white But if you don't have that you can paint Jesus whatever color you want um, That is entirely up to you as an artist, but I have my pre-mixed paint right here And so I'm gonna get an angled brush. I have an angled brush so I can make sure I crease the edges which just means that I just keep it tight on the edges so I can color inside the lines um, so I'm just going to get a little bit on my brush and just start to sketch it into the lines. Now, if you realize, oh no, I went out of the lines, that's okay. 
it is entirely okay for mis mistakes will happen to anyone and everyone and you can just fix it you can add a little more paint and drag it down so it looks like it's part of the arm or you can put some white paint on top of it and you can make it look like the canvas um, right now I am painting it to the edge and then I'm dragging Jesus skin color down and I'm just blending and blending because I don't want to use a lot of paint because that's wasting paint and we are going to do two layers of this skin color and so we shouldn't have to worry too much about streaks or lines if there are any and it is entirely okay if there are um, so I'm just going to keep painting his arm um, I'd love to hear what y'all's favorite part about the story is so my favorite part of the story is that Jesus said that he would touch the man and back then it was very very rare for someone to touch a person with a skin disease because they could catch that skin disease and that was really really hard because there was no medicine there was not any um, doctors there weren't any doctors there that could help him so he just had to go live by himself and I'm sure he felt very lonely and when Jesus said I am willing to heal you I'm sure that was the best part of his life um, so we're just gonna keep going we are so close to finishing this man's Jesus's hand and I with the fingers I'm staying a little bit away from the edges so I can take my smaller brush and I can go back and just make sure I stay in the lines because I like to stay in the lines a lot so I'm going to put my brush in my water and you can just leave it there it's not really important right now for it to be dry and I'm just gonna take my smaller brush and I am going to color in the edges of the arm now if you're like oh no I just painted over my pencil lines that's okay um, the pencil lines you don't really want to see very much but if you like them you can leave them um, I like to paint over my pencil lines because I like to see just my paints because I like the color of my paints and I like feeling very accomplished when I'm done um, and I'm sure you will feel very accomplished when you're done too because this is amazing and we get to learn about Jesus and paint at the same time so we are just gonna keep going there's a lot of detail to this little arm and you don't really want to paint too much though too many details sometimes gets a little bit hard right I'm almost done and it's okay if you have markers you can just use a peach color or a brown color or both sometimes markers can mix really really well and we are just gonna keep going y'all are doing so great and I'm so proud of y'all for just taking the opportunity out of your day to come paint with me and to learn more about Jesus it means a lot so you can see I have a little bit of streaks and lines and that's okay because we're gonna do a second coat to cover that up but right now because we want it to dry a little bit because right now if we add another layer it's just gonna streak again so we're gonna let it dry for a second so I have my 
palette and it is plastic. If you were using acrylic paints, you don't want to use paper plates because they will, the paper plates will take the water out of the acrylic paints and you really don't want that to happen. So we are going to paint what little there is of the man's skin that we have. So I'm going to take my Jesus color and I'm going to take a slightly bigger brush and just get a little bit of that and put it on my palette. Um, and y'all don't have to do this by yourselves. There's always someone who's very willing to help you and your leaders would love to help you. Um, y'all are doing great. I'm so proud of you. So right now I'm going to add a little, little tiny bit of white. Um, just because I want to make the man's skin color just a little bit different than Jesus' skin color. But not too much. Not too different. Um, so you can already see that the paint is getting a lighter skin tone. And it is very different than Jesus'. Um, so just a little bit of white goes a long, long way. And you don't ever want to add too much of a dark color because it's really hard to take that dark color back. Um, and you can always add more later, but the less paint you use, the easier it is to reverse that. So I'm going to take my small brush again because there's not a lot of the man's skin color. And we want to make sure we get it right where we want it. So I'm going to take this and I have my skin color for the man. And I'm just going to paint his fingers. And it is okay if you paint over some lines or if you accidentally paint Jesus' arm, that's okay. Because you can go back with your Jesus color and you can repaint it. And it's okay to ask somebody to help you out or um, ask your leaders if they're around. Or if you're talking to someone, I'm sure they would love to help you. And so we're just going to make sure we get the knuckles too. Um, we're going to paint over the knuckles, the knuckle lines right now. And we are going to come back later and draw some shadows with just some dark color. It's not, not too big of a deal. Uh, but I am going around the fingernails. I don't want to color the fingernails right now because the fingernails are going to be a lighter color than Jesus Or not Jesus, <laughs> lighter color than the man is. And so I'm just going right around that. And I think I made this fingernail too big. So I'm just going to paint a little bit under that. So... And if you run out of your color, that is really, it's okay. You can just mix some more. Um, but you can never put paint back in the tube. You can't do that. So you want to make sure you don't waste your paint. And you use just enough. And, and right now that seems like a lot to remember. But eventually you'll be able to get it. So... You want to be very careful not to touch your wet paint because it will smear on you and it'll get on the canvas. And it's okay if paint gets on you. It's okay to be a little bit messy sometimes, but we don't want to get too, too messy and we don't want to mess up your pretty picture. So I'm just getting the details and you want to remember that you don't want to paint the bandages um, because those were not his skin color. Those were a different color, a little bit brown, uh, but more of a whitish color. So now we're going to go back to his arm and um, we drew some squiggles where you wanted some skin and if you printed the picture that's okay you can just pick some spots where um, you want his skin to be showing and so we're just going to take that skin color the man's skin color and paint right over the squiggles so let's do that really fast Um, 
one thing that I've learned when I'm painting is sometimes it takes a little bit of patience, but in the end, it really just works out really well because you end up with a picture that you like a lot. And if you don't like it that much, you can do it again. And it is okay to do it. It's okay to do it again. And it's okay to not get it right the first time. So I'm almost done with his skin color. And then we are going to go back over Jesus' arm and give it that second layer. So let's do that. And sometimes on the canvas, I notice if I don't put enough paint, there are white spots on the canvas. And that's not a big deal. You just got to color them in and just make sure that you are not, they're not there anymore. So one last strip of skin. And it's okay if you think you use too much paint. You can just spread it out over the canvas. And you can go off the canvas if you want, or you can keep it very confined in that. So there we go. There is the man's skin color. So now we're gonna take our slightly bigger brush um, that we use to mix the man skin color and we're gonna dry it off you want to make sure you get it dried really well and now let's dip back into Jesus' skin color make sure there's no other paint on this brush and now you just go back over it just like we did before and remember it's always okay to pause the video and catch up or you can go back if you think you missed a step but every painting is very unique and that is the best part because you get to create your own painting and you are joining me on this adventure but you are also creating your painting and your version of this story which I think is pretty cool so my Jesus arm is almost finished right here. I'm trying my best to stay in my sketch lines because we just want to make sure that Jesus is all in his right lines. I know sometimes when I'm painting I like to listen to some music or just some just some instrumental music. Sometimes I like music with words that I can just dance and paint, which is so much fun and that might help you while you're painting as well. Cuz sometimes it unlocks this very creative part of us that just wants to be creative and enjoy what we're doing. This is the biggest part of this, is you are enjoying what you're doing, you're having fun. Um, and I think that is a really big part of the story. Um, Jesus was very willing to touch this man and I know sometimes we have a hard time with that and I love that Jesus was willing to touch this man because physical touch is a really really big part of our life and our society and when Jesus touched this man he said I'm willing and I love you and Jesus loves each and every one of you so so much um, so I finished painting Jesus' arm, and I would like to do the man's fingernails. So we have this man's skin color right here. And for those of you who don't have a pink already, I have this pinkish color. So we're gonna take our little bit of red and the man's skin color, and we're just gonna mix it together. And you don't need a lot of that. 
because if you look at your own fingernails, they're a little bit different than your finger color, but they're not too, too different. So I added just a little bit, and so now I'm going to put it on the fingernails. Now this does not need to be stressful at all. It's very simple, very easy to do. So we're just gonna keep going, and it's okay if you can't really see it um, right now, but it's there. We're just gonna keep spreading it, and I like to draw on one side and then drag the paint across the other. And usually that helps it just come across a little bit faster. So we're gonna do that. And I don't wanna get too much paint on the canvas because it's hard to spread it out. And if you get too much, it's okay. Just wipe it off on your rag and spread it out. Spread it out, just like that. So now we're gonna add the shadowing colors and I'm going to take my dark brown and I'm going to put a little dab of it here because I don't want to waste my paint um, but I definitely still want to use it so we're just going to put a little bit of dab because we don't need that much I'm going to rinse off my paintbrush in the water and just dry it off real fast because I still want to use this little brush um, and you can use as many brushes as you want, it doesn't matter. But you wanna make sure you clean your brushes because we wanna take good care of them. So now I put my brown paint on the brush and I am going to draw the knuckle lines again. And you might be able to see them from when you sketched. But if not, it's okay, you can just redo them. And if your paint looks like it's kind of running low, just grab a little bit more. You don't need too, too much of this. And just keep doing that. All right, so now, do you remember when we sketched it, Jesus had his hand like that a little bit and there were shadows. So I'm gonna draw out the shadows from the fingers and but I'm gonna make sure I don't get it on the thumb because I don't want it on the thumb. I just want it around the thumb. And then you just scrub it a little bit to blend it out, just like that. And now you can see the man's finger a little bit better. So now I'm gonna do that around these fingers, just a little bit, so you can see the fingers. And even if there's just a little bit of shadow on your fingers, it's okay. You don't have to worry too much and you can add as much as you want or as little as you want. That is entirely up to you. So I'm blending the shadow more into this, on this finger, I'm blending it more into his finger because this finger comes up a little bit more because your fingers aren't generally very big. And now I'm going to draw it around the fingers first. Drawing around. And then I'm pulling it out. So I'm just gonna scrub a little bit out. Not too, too much. Doesn't have to be a big ordeal. Just a little tiny bit of scrub out make sure his fingers stay rounded because I imagine his fingers were rounded. Now I'm going to add some shadowing in between the thumb and the palm so you can see the lines because uh, when you stretch your hands sometimes you have lines, right? So remember those little squiggles I did on his skin? I'm going to go ahead and redo those with this dark shadow color. And if you don't want to add them, it's totally fine. You don't need them at all. It is entirely up to you if you want them. And you can determine how much paint you put on your brush. 
and how dark you want them to be. And again, I'm sure there are plenty of people who would love to help you if you need help, and that's totally fine if you ask for help, and it's totally fine if you want to do it by yourself. Um, so I smudged this one a little bit, so I'm just going to blend it out so it doesn't look as smudged, right? Just a few more dots, and then we're done with the shadowing. And it is okay to get paint on your hand. I'm just using my finger to dab off the color a little bit because I put too much. All right, now Jesus' hand is done. Good job, guys. Look how well you're doing. You're doing so great. Um, so now we're going to do the man's bandages. And I have this color, which is called unbleached titanium, which is a yellow white. So if you want to make this color, you put white in your palette and then you put a little dab of yellow and you mix it together and it makes kind of a dirty white which is the look that we are going for because the man's bandages i assume were originally probably pretty white and clean but as he like worked and was begging for money and doing all of that his bandages probably got pretty dirty and so we don't want perfectly clean bandages because I don't think that would represent the picture as well. But if you want to draw white bandages, that's okay. Um, so I'm going to take my angled brush again and I'm going to put the white color on my brush and I'm going to start at the top of where the bandage is and I'm just going to drag it down just like that. And you want to try to keep it off of the skin color. So you start here and you drag it down, just like that. And you can drag it up and down. Um, and the great part about this for your pencil is that it will give you shadows and it'll give you a little bit of smudge. So you don't have to do that part it'll do it for you which is so nice so with the bandages that are together and there's no skin in between you can just go ahead and paint through that but you want to paint over the pencil pretty straight because you don't want to smear the pencil lines in a different direction you want to do it straight down like that and you can see how dirty the bandage looks and how gross that must have been for that man to have to live like that. So we're just going to try and keep it off the skin color. Keep it off. So this is the part where I drew the bandage out more. And so we are going to pull it down and then we're gonna pull it right past where the other bandage lines are. And you can just leave it like that. So you don't have to make a definite line, you can just drag it down. And we just wanna make sure that we're staying in the lines because you don't want the arm to go all crazy and so far off, but you wanna make sure that you're just painting you are having fun with this. You want to have fun. This is the whole point of doing it. And you're getting to learn about Jesus and this man's story. And I think that is very valuable to all of us. So we just got to make sure we get some more paint. And if your paint starts to run out, just make sure you add some more on your brush. So I'm using the angled part of this brush again to get in this part because the skin here is on both sides. So I just want to make sure I'm getting it nice and tightly in to where the bandage would be. So we're just, just having a fun time. So now the only bandages left are the bandages on his fingers. So I am going to get my smaller brush again and paint the ones on his fingers. So just dry the brush off. 
and get your paint. We're so close, you guys. You're doing so good. I'm so proud of y'all for just being here and taking the time out of your day. Y'all are superheroes. You're so amazing. Um, I'm so glad that you decided to come today because I think this is a really valuable story for us. I think we all just, this story really is nice for all of us because we just get to learn about how much Jesus loves us and how much the creator of the universe genuinely cares for you. He made you from your mother's womb and he put you here for a purpose and you are not alone. You are here on this earth and he is with you. He is always with you and that truly shows how amazing he is. Guys, we are so close. Y'all are doing so great. I'm so proud of y'all for hanging in there. Uh, so now we're going to paint Jesus' robe. And I don't know what color Jesus was wearing. But he was probably wearing like a dark red or a green or something. So I like red. So I'm going to paint his robe red. You can paint his robe whatever color you want. That is entirely up to you. I'm going to get my other um, edged brush and I'm just going to put my red on my <coughs> on my palette and I'm just going to paint Jesus' robe real quick. Not a long or hard thing, but I am going to stay inside the lines, which is still very, very important. And I want to make sure I have enough color that it's red and not pink. Because sometimes when you spread red out, it looks pink. And I don't want pink. I don't want red. And again, the color is entirely up to you. It is your choice of what you want it to be, how you want it to look. Um, and that is, that is up to you. So I'm just going to take the edge and draw it out a little bit to cover up all the white on his arm. And I'm going to come back in a minute when this is a little bit drier and paint just one more layer really fast because I don't want it to look streaky. So this is one of my favorite parts because um, we get to paint the background and I think when I think miracle, I think of like gold and yellow and bright, happy colors. And so I took my gold color and my yellow color and I mixed them together to make a brighter gold. It was half gold, half yellow, really simple. Um, again, you can do whatever color. You could just leave it like this. It looks pretty great. Y'all did really good. But I'm gonna take a big brush and I'm gonna dip it in my paint. And I am going to put a line close but not touching and draw out and I'm just going to keep doing that because I imagine this is how I imagine it just you know it's a miracle and this is how I celebrate that and you can do whatever color you want you can copy this color you can pick your own color you can leave it alone it is truly up to you but I am pulling it out and letting it kind of fade towards the edges. I want the darker gold color towards the, towards the actual picture. And I like to give the actual picture a little bit of white space all around just to show um, that the true miracle is Jesus Christ and he is the one who made it. So this is honoring, this is how I honor God with my gifts and I think that's very important that we do that. Um, in this hard time, I know we're all feeling a little bit crazy being cooped up at home, not being able to hang out with friends or go to Young Life. And your Young Life leaders are still there. They still want to talk to you and hang out with you. And your friends and your family is still there. And thanks to FaceTime and Zoom, we can all call each other and talk to each other, even if we're not right there. 
Um, and I am so proud of y'all for just sticking with this and coming on this journey with me. I am so glad that you did. Um, look how close we are. And y'all made this beautiful piece of art. This is all y'all. Y'all did so good. And I'm genuinely so, so proud of everything that you have accomplished. And as we move along in these sessions, you'll notice that you start to get better and better. And the more you practice, the better you will get. And just the better your art will be. And it is already so good. So a little bit hard to do that. But so we're just finishing up and I'm going to put my brush in the water and just get my other brush that I use for Jesus' robe and add one last layer of red to it so it's a darker, richer color. So we're just going to do that really fast. Um, yeah, it already looks so, so much better. Not as pink as it was before. Um, so again, you can do whatever color you want. That is entirely up to you as an artist and however you want to draw it. So there you go. Um, you need to make sure that you sign your work and you do that. Um, thank you so much for coming with me and painting this beautiful picture. And I think it's really important that we all remember um, that Jesus loves us and you are not alone. You are so surrounded by God's love and that is amazing. Thank you so much for coming with me and I'll see you next week. Bye.